everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally filming a review on the gorgeous French niche perfume house that is called Rome 1015. Rome 1015 is a France atelier that is inspired by the smell and aesthetics of rock and roll. The founder of this brand, Dr. Mike, composes full volume fragrances with a song describing the olfactive notes and the stories behind each perfume. And when I came across this perfume house on the internet for the first time, I was so impressed by its concept, how the songs describe the perfumes. And I was so lucky that I got a chance to meet Dr. Mike at Accents in Milan. And I remember when I tried his perfumes for the first time, he was like, and which one is your favorite? And I was like, I don't know, they all are so beautiful. So I really truly love all his fragrances and I want to mention one thing in the beginning of this video and that is you can order a discovery kit on his official website and in the discovery kit you will have all the uh, samples of, of all the perfumes and a great thing is that the samples are very generous. You get two mils in this sample which is awesome and with a discovery kit you can just experiment and see which ones you like the most and then you can order it in a full size uh, bottle. So another great thing is that the discovery kit is pretty affordable, it is 20 euros or barely 20 euros, I think it's less than 20 euros, so that is really really cool. And yeah, I truly love all the fragrances and um, I'm just so impressed by its concept and I highly recommend you to check out the official website and just listen to the songs and get inspired. So another thing that I noticed about um, these perfumes is that they are truly unisex and you know that niche perfumes tend to be unisex mostly and some of them still are more on the feminine or masculine side. However, these fragrances are truly unisex and they will be awesome both on the man and on the woman. So anyways, let's start this review and the first fragrance that we'll talk about is called Yesterday and I really like that you get this sample and also the description of the scent. So yesterday was inspired by the picture of young Beatles hanging out in the hotel bathroom and shaving and having fun. So Beatles is my favorite band and Yesterday is not my favorite song, but I really really like it. And let's um, talk about the notes. So this perfume features top notes of bergamot, curvy, sweet orange, basil, thyme and cardamom. Heart notes are lavender, rhubarb and davena. And ba base notes are vetiver, sandalwood, musk, amber and tonka bean. So normally I don't go for a fragrance that is clean and aromatic and yesterday is definitely my favorite aromatic, slightly herbal, sometimes fresh spicy, sometimes warm spicy and softly woody scent. Um, you know, it is very aromatic and fresh, but it's also very smooth and it is almost powdery. I don't know, that is probably my imagination playing with me. But I can wear this perfume all day long and all year long. It is such a beautiful um, signature scent and I can totally see Beatles wearing this perfume. It is very dreamy, it is very easy to wear and it is also very aromatic and I just love it. It is gorgeous and you know, I love all the fragrances from this brand but yesterday is definitely my favorite one. So anyways, let's move on to the next perfume that is called Bluma Cult. And Bluma Cult is a floral, sensual and slightly oriental fragrance built around patchouli with notes of lilac and violet. It also features cashmeran and cinnamon which add warmness to the scent as well as vanilla and white musk. A flower power perfume as an olfactory perception for the 1960s and 1970s counterculture movement with the sexual libertation and the rise of hippie culture. So for me, Bloma, uh, Bloma Cult is a nostalgic fragrance that reminds me uh, of something from my childhood. Bloma Cult is also provocative and unisex fragrance. 
it is very warm and that's why I think it will be really gorgeous in the uh, winter. However, this is the warm, really rich perfume that you can also wear when it's hot and it won't be too much because I wear it today, it's really hot today and I absolutely adore it. So let's move on to the next perfume and it is called Power Ballad. And I really want to read you the story behind this perfume. So a fresh and spicy fragrance inspired by the 90s high school years when we were dancing on the heavy metal power ballads. I remember the first French kiss with the notes of gin and tequila, the chewing gum stolen proudly from the mouth of lover like a trophy. An era with grunge style as a symbol of rebellion, destroyed the name jeans, checked shirts, leather jackets and bleached hair. Dr. Mike. So in the opening you get a lot of cold citruses such as bergamot, lime, grapefruit and also spearmint. In the heart we have uh, spices such as uh, juniper, cumin, coriander and anise and in the base we have notes of poplar buds, vetiver, labdanum and cedarwood. So all in all this is a fresh spicy fragrance that is romantic and grungy at the same time. And it is truly unisex perfume that bo both boys and girls can rock wherever they want. And I really like the transformations that this scent goes through because the opening is quite sharp because of all those um, citruses and spices. But then the fragrance transforms and it is really sexy and really soft in the dry down and it is a really interesting transformation. This is a truly rebel scent and yeah, I really like how it melts with your um, scent of your skin and this is just such an adorable sexy perfume. So if you're looking for something sexy then definitely check out this scent. And the next perfume that we will talk about is called Atramental. And let's talk about the story behind this perfume. The idea behind Atromental was to create a perfume inspired by the tattoo experience with the notes of leather and ink. A fragrance with a raw feel, castorium and smoked leather notes that remind the damaged skin, metallic notes as a reference to blood and notes of ink together with fresh and clean bergamot. So addictive, just like tattoos. So the notes are bergamot, lemon, cistus and um, uh, marine notes. Then in the heart we have cardamom and black pepper. And in the base we have dry wood, saffron, sidereal and castorium. So what can I say about this perfume? It is very outstanding, very unusual modern fragrance. And it is very... Uh, balsamic and clean like your skin before getting a tattoo and I'm sure that this scent is not for everybody because it is something really different and really different for a perfume scent but it is definitely gorgeous and I feel that you can hate it or you can love it just like a tattoo and I'm not the biggest fan of tattoo but I'm the big fan of this perfume and it's so so gorgeous so I highly recommend you to try out to order a discover kit and just enjoy this unusual masterpiece. Well let's move on to the last but not least scent that is called electric wood. And um, let's uh, see what is the story behind this scent. So a woody fragrance straight out of a guitar case with powerful note of cedar and powdery iris note. I will always remember the day I got my first guitar. I was 12 years old and it was a Gibson. I was struck by its smell, like a unique mix of wood, lacquer and metal. I think the perfume Electric Wood was born that day, Dr. Mike. And I really like the opening of this perfume. It has such gorgeous notes of nutmeg, lemon and sage. And nutmeg definitely is um, the dominant note. And then it blends into warm woody scent of cedar wood and um, oak wood. And electric wood has a very soft musky dry down because of the notes of musk, iris and ambroxan. 
and this is a different woody scent. It is very soft, but it also captivates you, and it is just very, um, very multifaceted. You can wear it uh, all year round for every occasion, and I'm sure that both men and women will fall in love with this perfume. So guys, that is basically it for this review and I hope that you enjoyed watching it. And please, please make sure that you check out the official website of this brand because I'm in love with this brand. I'm in love with these perfumes and I hope that I inspired you to fall in love with this um, perfume house also. So anyways, if you enjoyed watching this review, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And we will see each other in my next video really soon.